Hi everybody, it's Marie with his own Abandoned Women's Ministry. We used to be out of Nashville, Tennessee. We are now in three different states. We are in Florida, uh, Louisiana, and North Carolina. We all went coastal. <laughs> and today I wanted to just kind of tag team. We've talked the last several weeks. Um, Kara and Christine have shared just about the side effects and the damaging ways that birth, the birth control and the pill can negatively impact women physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. And, you know, knowledge can be power if we take that knowledge and, and, and we apply it, right? And so I wanted to dive a little bit deeper into, for one thing, talking a little bit about, you know, why why are women's bodies so attacked? Why? Have you thought about that? I was reading this uh a little bit from Stacey Eldridge. She's the wife of John Eldridge who wrote the book Wild at Heart. And she was talking about how, you know, before the fall, Lucifer, Satan, um, Lucifer was a beautiful angel. And when he chose pride, when he said, I will not serve, and he fell, um, he lost his beauty. And women, we carry a really particular beauty that points to be made in, in, in the image and likeness of God. We point to something that Satan used to have that he no longer has, and he hates us for that. And then on top of that, our bodies say to the world that we are called to receive Christ, to receive his Holy Spirit, to receive his grace, his, his love, to conceive it inside of us, and to bear forth that life. Sometimes physically, right? And, and bring forth little ones in our wombs, but always spiritually. So no matter whether we are, you know, a physical, a spiritual mom, we are all called to bear for life, right? And, and our bodies reflect that. And it says to the world, so hate Satan hates that. Hates it. I was reading also today in, from um, Business Insiders, and I was talking about how the beauty industry, and I'm going to read this because I couldn't fathom the number. Um, the beauty industry is a 532 billion dollar industry 532 billion there's only what seven billion people on the planet give or take <laughs> but it reminded me how much we are being told day in and day out you know what you are not tall enough you're not short enough you're not thin enough you're not muscular enough you don't have a big enough chest you don't have the right size nose you don't, you know, your eyebrows, your eyelashes, your everything under the sun, your shoes, your clothes, cosmetics. We are hearing these messages over and over and over again and everywhere we look. And ladies, I just want to call time out. You are enough. You are enough and you have a beauty that God has given you that is your specific beauty that no one else can take from you. Even in the beauty industry, you know, what are like the, what's considered beautiful today in 2019, in 2019, you know, five years ago, it wasn't that, 10 years ago, it was something, to, you know, that changes. But God has given you a beauty that is specific to you. And as women, yes, we have exterior beauty. And there's nothing wrong with wanting to be beautiful or to have cute clothes or or to like to do your nails or makeup or whatever, like that's okay. Like there's nothing wrong with that. But it's also really important to remember to do those things because you enjoy it, because you like, like, oh, I like the way I feel when my nails are done, right? Or do it, don't do those things because the culture is saying you have to do this to be beautiful, right? You have a beauty in who you are. And ladies, our beauty is got to stem from the inside out. We have got to get back to the things that matter because you know what? Everyone, everyone's bodies are going to age. Everyone's bodies are not going to look at, in their 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, how they did when they were little, when they were a teenager, in their 20s, 30s. Like, we all are going to change. And so, but that beauty from the inside out, if we can foster that, and we can ask the Lord to fill us with His beauty. We are beautiful when we love. When we love, 
that is where the most beauty comes out. Even it's really interesting because when I have talked with men and I've said, you know, what do, what do you love most about your wife? What, what What's really been the attracting factor? And it, pretty much all of them, like at some point they mentioned, you know, I think my wife is beautiful. But the things they mentioned first, it's like, man, I love her heart. I love the way that she, she serves others. I love the way that she's so selfless. I love the way that she's kind and she sees others. You know, I love the way that she, she loves God and she loves me. Love makes us beautiful. Yes, the exterior is important, absolutely, because we live out of our bodies, right? It's not to disregard that, but to remember, let's be beautiful inside and out and don't let the world dictate our beauty. Don't let the world do that, you guys. I struggle with it. I'm sure many of you, probably most of you struggle with that too. I've yet to meet a woman, to meet a woman who does not struggle with it at some point. So we've got to start changing the conversations that we're letting play in our head. We've got to ch change the tenets that we're letting take residence up in our minds. The messages that we're playing in our heads. Oh, well, I'm not this enough or that enough. You have a beauty in who you are that the world can't steal. And know that the right people will see that, you know, just because your beauty is different from my beauty, is different from her beauty, is different from her beauty, you know, we're different. And just because we're different flowers, you know, which is a funny way of looking, but it's true, like, our beauty is, is it's different. We're all different, and that's good. So, you're enough. Know that you are enough of who you are. You have a beauty inside and out that is specific to you. God delights in that. He sees it. He loves it. He made you to be so beautiful, and you are so special, and you are so treasured. And I want you to walk away from watching this. Deep in your heart, you are beautiful. You are wanted. You are beloved. Come find us on social media, theazone.com, Facebook and Instagram, at theazone, and uh, Twitter, at theazone music. <laughs> you guys have a great week.